What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, man, up coming at you with a video. Houston Texans versus the Tennessee Titans after the game. Yes, we lost this game. I did have us predicted to win this game, but we end up losing this uh, game here, 35-14. to 14. Now, what I really want to talk about is the Houston Texans stats in this game. That's the number one thing to me that I want to talk about. Of course, we had some stories to sit, but I'm not making no excuses. We lost the game. It is what it is. Now, I know I did have us projected to finish the season 11-5. Season I'm going to have a giveaway for that Texas Mini Helmet right there. Now, since we finished the season 10-6, uh, and six, I'm going to still have a giveaway for that Texas Mini Helmet. <sighs> the way I'm going to do it now, I will let you know at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Now, with that being said, Houston Texans lost the game. We finished the season 10 and 6, which is cool. Which is cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. You know, we would like to be better. No, we would probably like to be in that second or third seed. We wouldn't have got the first seed because of Baltimore. But. I know we would like to be up there and we had chances to do it, but we didn't do it. It is what it is. At least we made the playoffs. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and get into the stats of this game. Because I saw a couple of things that kind of popped out to me. The first stat is, A.J. McCarron, he started the game. Uh, he was 21 for 36, 225 yards. No touchdowns. He threw one pick. Well, he had no passing touchdown but he did have a rushing touchdown and so did Duke Johnson have a rushing touchdown now the stat that really still got to me is AJ McCarron uh, 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 rushed for 39 yards Duke Johnson only 12 but he got a touchdown Carlos Hyde only 13 yards that kind of Stuck out to me a little bit there. Wondering why our starting running backs, you know, the two guys that played the whole season pretty much, you should say, did not produce like they should. Well, I know you're going to say we sat a lot of people and stuff like that, and that's cool. I know that happened, but it is one of those things to where you got to wonder, you play all season, so why you couldn't produce? Now, another thing that kind of stuck out to me is Kiki QT, he played, but did not really produce much. Now, I know, you know, he probably was on a, well, I know probably he was on a snap count, I guess you could say, trying to keep him healthy, you know, for the playoffs, because our first opponent is going to be the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills is no slouch. I get into that later. Now, another thing that kind of stood out to me is our defense did not get any sacks in this game. Now, Zach Cunningham, Hargraves, you know, Lonnie Johnson, uh, I can't think of the first name off the top of my head, but Mingo. <laughs> All these are starters, you know, we play regularly, I should say. I'm going to put it like that. Uh, a day, a, a day, a day, how you say his name? <laughs> you know, these are people that play regularly, I guess you could say. And the the reason why this stuck out to me is because, like I said, I know they was on snap count. I know Bill O'Brien was trying to keep players you know, healthy and fresh. But, to me, I'm wondering, what is this going to say for our team in the first playoff game next week? Now, my answer is this. I think they should be fresh, or good enough, I should say, and ready to roll. The reason I'm saying, their bodies didn't take too much of a toll, some not at all because, like I said, Watson and Hopkins did not play in this game. 
it was meaningless to us because Kansas City won earlier, so we was not going to jump up to the third seed. Matter of fact, they got the second seed. Uh, so they get the first round by while New England jumped to the third, and they got to play next weekend as well. So Miami won. Beat, they beat New England, which I already knew it was going to be a tough game for New England because New England always struggles against Miami for some odd reason. Uh, the the uh, the Chiefs won. They beat the Oakland Raiders. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, the uh, Oakland Raiders. Excuse me. So, no matter what we did, we wasn't going to go up or down. So, it was pointless to play some people. So, the reason why I wanted to bring up the stats is this. With this little bit of rest, and it's kind of like a buy for some of the players. With this little bit of rest, that means you should be getting your conditioning good, you know, running on the bikes on the sidelines or whatever it is you got to do. Uh, make sure you try to handle any kind of nagging injuries. You got a little bit of time to relax, you know, get those deep massages in, you know, take your ice bath, all that good stuff, you know, whatever it is that you got to do to try to get your body right. That's the reason why I want to bring up those stats because, as you notice, a lot of key players I never, I did not mention because, as y'all know, y'all seen the game but didn't play, so they should be ready, you know. Because I know uh, Watson was kind of dealing with a, a back injury. I also heard that he has uh, had a sore ankle, so see what happens. Uh, Hopkins as well, too. You know, he wasn't dealing with a back. He was dealing with a little bit of ankle injury. He uh, They gave him some rest. So it was kind of pointless to play our starters. So kind of glad, you know, that we didn't because it would have been pointless. <laughs> now. I am going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the Buffalo Bills. That's our next opponent. First round of the playoffs wild card. Uh, we finished 10-6. So did they. Identical records. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see the kind of game plan that Bill O'Brien's going to have for Buffalo's defense. Because Buffalo do got some pretty decent defense. So, nobody sleeps on the Buffalo Bills. You know, you know they, they, they ready to play. You know, I know they made the playoffs a few years ago. But they made it because uh, I think it was uh, Cincinnati had lost or something like that it was. Uh, it was some kind of scenario where they can get in and, and it happened for them. I'll put it like that. And, but this time, they was already locked into a playoff spot. Just need to wait and see how it was going to all play out. So they got the they got the first wild card spot. Tennessee got the second wild card spot. And... Ready to rock and roll. So, when we do get ready to play Buffalo, which is our next game, what I want to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. What I want to see is what it is that we're going to end up doing against that defense. What kind of play call is Bill O'Brien going to do? Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction on this game. I'm going to say that our first playoff game, I think we're going to win this game, but I think it's going to be close. I think we're going to win. Uh, trying to throw out a score prediction. It's kind of hard here. Because Buffalo do got some good defense now. So I think we're going to win 20 to 17. That's my uh, score prediction right there. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get ready for the Buffalo Bills. That's who we got next. And get ready to play this thing out. We both coming into this thing with identical records at 10 and 6. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and talk about how I'm a, what I'm going to do for this mini helmet right here that I'm going to have a giveaway from. Not this particular helmet. Mm -mm, no. That's a full-size Texan helmet. Mm -mm. That mini helmet. That's what I'm going to have a giveaway for. <laughs> so, this is what I'm going to do. Whoever leaves me the best comment in this video, I don't care if you leave a positive or a negative comment, the best comment, or if you leave some kind of spiritual comment, I don't care. Just something Texan-related. 
And it cannot be talking about firing Bill O'Brien. That's the only stipulation I'm going to throw in there. Because I know a lot of Texan fans want to fire Bill O'Brien. Once again, I'm not down for it. Whether he gets fired or not, doesn't matter to me. That's not my thing. So, so that's the only stipulation I'm throwing in there. You can't talk about Bill O'Brien. So, whoever leaves me the best Texan comment, I will have a giveaway for that mini helmet. And keep it PG. Because who's going to decide the winner? My nine-year-old daughter. That's who's going to decide the winner. So keep it PG. <laughs> so with all that being said, good luck. Good luck to the Texans. See what happens. First round of the playoffs, wild court versus the Buffalo Bills. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't wait to see what happens here. Man. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of excited. I, I don't know what to say. I'm ready for the playoffs to start now. 49ers just won. Uh, they just beat the Seahawks. You know, Marshall on his first game back, you know, with the Seahawks. I was just watching that game. I'm just excited for the playoffs to start. I don't, I don't know what to say. So with all that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and chuck up a deuce. Remember, who will leave me the best comment? PG, PG, keep it PG. And the only stipulation I'm throwing in there, do not talk about Bill O'Brien. That's going to automatically get you eliminated from the contest. And I will have my daughter to announce the winner on my next video. So with all that being said, man, I'm going to chuck the deuce. This is your boy, man, up. And as always, you was in the man cave. And guess what? I got to kick you out of the man cave. Holla.